This is an AMI This Week Shortcut. Come one, come all, and join me for a while. I'm Alex Smythe, and I greet you with a smile. Sitting here with my Christmas cap, by the fire with a storybook in my lap. Twas a magical time of year, where the man in red shares his festive cheer. The ringing echo of ho, ho, ho has led me to co, co, co. I meet VP of sales and marketing Christy Mayer, who shares their story and some of the chocolates made there. Coco Co is a very special name and it has deep meaning to us. Coco Co stands for Coco Confections Community. So there's two types of chocolate in the world. There's compound chocolate, which is oil and sugar, which is cheap chocolate. And then there's couverture chocolate, which is all about added cocoa butter. Coco Co makes couverture chocolate only and sustainable chocolate. It's powerful cocoa flavor and incredible cocoa butter that really covers your whole mouth so that you can taste the full cocoa experience. In on the premises, we do have the factory that's actually producing the chocolate. So if you enter into the doors, what are you gonna see? What are you gonna hear? First of all, you're gonna smell chocolate. It's a beautiful place to be. Everything that you can imagine made in chocolate or covered in chocolate, we can make here in our factory. What's the small dark rectangular chocolate we got in front of us here? It's a very special award-winning chocolate. So this is an interesting combination of oregano and sage herbs infused in cocoa butter. It's a dark chocolate, and then we hand finish it with a habanero sea salt. It's great with cheese and wine and beer as part of a charcuterie board at the start of a meal. That's fascinating. I'm gonna try one. Mm. Oh, wow. The sweet, earthy flavors here. Fantastic. And I'm starting to get a bit of the heat of that habanero. That's really interesting. I really like that. Is there anything else we can do while we're here? Would you like to come make some chocolate? I would love to. But before we go, I'm going to grab another one of these dark chocolates. I'm going to grab a dark chocolate as well. Now turning a chapter in my big old book, I come across Pat Sr., master chocolatier, in his kitchen nook. But before I make some chocolate, the highlight of my day, I put on a coat and hairnet and get on my jolly way. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a semi-sweet chocolate ganache. Our whipping cream and butter that I have here, I've heated up to about 32 degrees, and our semi-sweet chocolate, I've heated up to about 40 degrees. Okay. So all I need you to do is take the immersion blender, put it in the whipping cream and butter, and then just slowly pour chocolate in, and just blend it, and it'll come together within a minute, like a chocolate pudding by the time you're all done. That's it, just nice and slowly rotate around the saucepan. Okay, great. So now if you want to just take the spatula, hold it over the glass pan and just pour it and spread it all in. Yeah, and you can see how nice and thick it is. The next step is we'll just smooth it down a little bit and then it's ready to go into the fridge. What we have to do is we have to cool the recipe down enough so that it's going to be firm enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to be hand rolling the truffles. Oh, okay. So it has to be cold enough and firm enough so that when we're rolling, it's not just going to just instantly melt in our hands. Pat pre-cooled ganache and did it with care. All of the flavors ready to share. Roll it in coffee or green matcha for flair. Maybe some candy cane, if you so dare. Let's start rolling. What do we have to do? What's okay, the first step? First, you can either use a spoon or a melon baller. And what you want to do is you just want to just get enough to get a nice little ball going. So you just roll it between your two hands until you got a decent circle going. I'm gonna try the crushed ginger cookie. Then just drop it in and then just keep on rolling it around until you cover the entire truffle. So I'm gonna try my first one. So I'm scooping up some chocolate. And as you roll it, you'll feel it starting to get a bit sticky as it starts to melt. Ooh, candy cane. My time at the factory came to an end, but not before learning new skills with a friend. The smell and taste of the chocolate's delight. It's hard to refrain from one final bite. Mm. Oh, hello, good cheer. I didn't know you were still here. Oh, what a disgrace. I've got chocolate all over my face. Well, I hope you enjoyed that festive story. In all its delicious 
chocolatey glory. But alas, our story ends here. So have yourself a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.